I always say my favorite home console is the PlayStation 2, and every time I say that I feel extra special and unique because it definitely was not the best-selling console of all time. I'm your cool uncle Marissa, and today I wanted to do a really quick video on how to change the country region, region setting of your PlayStation 2. This applies to PlayStation 2 Fat and PlayStation 2 Slim. So the way I found out this is a thing that exists and can happen is actually through the Helders Tech MC2 SIO adapter. If you don't know, check out his uh, website and you can grab stuff there. Uh, Macho Nacho has a really great video on setting that up actually. And it's just essentially allows you to play games on your PS2 through the micro SD card. Now this is particularly exciting for the PlayStation 2 Slim because with the fat model for a long time, there's been uh, hard drive mods and you can't do that with the Slim so much. At the time I had a Japanese uh, PlayStation 2 Slim and I was like, this is very exciting news. So I got it. You also need free McBoot and I got from Helder store, a free McBoot memory card. And I was off to the races. Now I had free McBoot, so I was like, wouldn't it be nice to be able to play American games, not just as backup files, but actually on disc? Because I like physical games, and so I would like to buy them and play them physically. <laughs> and even PS1 games. That would be fun too, right guys? So I found out about Mechapon and the big reason I want to make this video is I don't see a lot of new videos about it. And maybe it's because no one cares, but I care. So maybe one of you guys cares and would like to know. And Mechapon basically just uh, changes the region of your PlayStation 2 so that it can play a different region and it's actually a fairly simple process so i wanted to go through it um, on the ps2 fat that i bought in blue it's very beautiful i am paranoia collecting ps2s though collecting maybe too strong a word for just owning three ps2s um then that, that that's it i just i'm so scared that one of them is just gonna go kaput and i'm like this is my favorite home console or like the prices are gonna shoot up i, I don't know anyway the first main thing though is i tried to uh use mechapon on the free mcboot card i got from helder and it just wasn't working and i contacted helder and i was like do you know what's going on he's like I don't even know what Mechapon is. So I think I came across, I'm gonna say like a GBA temp forum post from several years ago. And so the thing is that if you want to use Mechapon on a console, you need a copy of Free McBoot for that region and then put Mechapon on it and then you can uh, change it. And you can uh, look up videos on how to make free McBoot. The video that I've linked about Helder's uh, MC2 SIO <laughs> uh, video from Macho Nacho, he also goes into detail about how to create your own copy of free McBoot. I won't bore you with that if that's something that you already know. Now the most recent versions of Mechapon seem to identify what PS2 you have, which is awesome because it used to be that you had to pick from a list what which one you had exactly. And not all uh, region conversions are available for every model, but it will tell you what is available. So for example, for my uh, PS2 Slims, I believe I just translated it to become a US uh, PS2, I believe. Um, but with the fat, I only had one option and that was to do like the retail version um, but yeah it's pretty straightforward and it's gotten a lot more seamless so I'm just gonna show it to you so that you know how it goes and you know that it's not hard you can do it all right so here's the basic setup free McBoot is in the memory card slot and your USB drive with Mechapon in it is in the USB slot uh, please ignore the pile underneath and you don't need the MC2 SIO. All right, boot up your PS2 and it should open free McBoot. And then we're gonna go to launch ELF because we're launching an ELF file. And this is a file browser. So we're gonna hit the file block browser button and then we're gonna find where Mechapon is and we're gonna launch it. 
and just follow the prompt. As you can see, it just immediately recognized everything, which is really awesome, even the console color. And then we're gonna press the button to install the exploit, and then it's gonna tell us to unplug the power cord and run it again, which the first time you're doing it, this is a little scary, but trust the process. Okay, so we restarted it after unplugging it and it launches back into Freemic Boot. And we're just going to do that same process of going to launch ELF, finding the Mechapon file and launching that. All right, now I can say change region and it only has one option, so we're gonna go with that, and we're going to select Keep Current Patch. And that's it. You don't wanna pick Force Unlock unless you know what you're doing. I don't even know what I would be doing. Now I'm just gonna test to make sure that it installed by putting in an American disc into this formerly Japanese system. I'm gonna be trying out Kingdom Hearts 2, my favorite PS2 game. And there we have it. Just the PlayStation 2 icon coming up means that the disc is being read. So we have successfully changed the region of this console and unlocked it. Now, since it's a retail unit, it's basically able to play anything, which is kind of even cooler than just switching regions. Now that that's installed, I'm going to remove Free McBoot and reboot the PS2 because I can't read Japanese, so I would like the PS2 to be in the English language. I'm going to enlist my phone's Google Lens for this because you know how sometimes when you pick languages, the languages are in that language? That's not the case with the PS2. All the different languages are in the like original language that you have it set to. If you don't wanna use Google Lens, I guess you could just count the number of inputs that I do. And look at that, it's in English. It's as if this was never a Japanese console. Simple as that. So we are done. That was really quite easy, a bit of turning on and off, but um, <laughs> yeah, all you need is a framework boot and a USB a thumb drive, flash drive. Um, why do people call them different things? Is it a regional thing? Cause I used to call them flash drives and then I've heard like thumb drive and then USB drive. And I feel like USB drive is the most like neutral. But anyway, this guy can play my games now. So that is stellar. Quick money saving hack. If you do have a Japanese PS2 and you just wanna test the laser, obviously it will only be playing Japanese media at the get go before you mech upon it. A uh, good thing to try is CDs are region free. So you can test the CD reading capabilities like with any CD you have, any audio CD. And in terms of DVD, Sometimes it can be cheaper to just grab a Japanese DVD than it would be maybe to grab a Japanese PS2 game, depending on where you've got everything. Uh, it's gonna be different case by case, but for me, I have uh, a CD by the artist Ado, and it came with like a DVD of a performance or something. And I, to be honest, don't really watch those kinds of DVDs, but it's been very helpful in testing the DVD reading capabilities of these uh, Japanese PS2 consoles, all two of them. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. A huge thank you as always to my Kofi supporters and to anyone who's ever bought anything from my shop, who has subscribed, who has liked, commented nice things uh, or even neutral or mean things i guess that helps the algorithm i've been your cool uncle marissa and don't forget that you are always welcome at cool uncle's house i'll see you in the next one Bye bye